In an environment where so much is uncertain, where's the price of oil heading? How many times will the Fed tighten next year? Can the Chinese economy make a comeback? You gain a new appreciation for companies that can produce nice, consistent, steady eddy style performance. Companies like Henry Schein, the world's number one distributor of products and services to both dentists and veterinarians, as well as being a major supplier of vaccines. No matter what happens with the economy, people still go to the dentist and still take their animals to the vet. Now, Henry Schein has made a series of small acquisitions to bolster its presence in these markets, and that strategy seems to be paying off. When the company reported early last month, they delivered a nice earnings beat, and three weeks ago, they announced a decent $400 million buyback. It counts for about 3% of the share count. The stock has given you a nice 13% gains for 2015, represents some solid outperformance in a year where the S&P 500 is down a, down a tad. Plus, longer term, Henry Schein has doubled since we started recommending a little more than three years ago. I don't think it's finished. Let's take a close look with Stanley Bergman. He's the chairman and CEO of Henry Schein. Hear more about his company's prospects. Mr. Bergman, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good have to a, see you. Have a seat. All right, Stanley, uh, every time we see you, I'm always cognizant that you got your companies growing. And yet, even though you're growing, it's still fragmented competition. You still own the, only 8% market share in your key dental supply market. I mean, if you're growing, how come there's not, you're not up to 12 or 15% yet? Well, that's the worldwide market. We're, we're a little bit more concentrated, Jim, in the U.S. and in Europe. But the opportunities in dental, in the medical, the physician mm -hmm. practice area, and the veterinary world are just phenomenal. There's just lots and lots of opportunity. Now, is anyone holding back from actually getting health care because the Affordable Care Act has made it so you have the deductible that can be so high? Um, I think we're moving slowly to having more people covered okay. by primary care physicians. Remember, okay. if you were sick in this country, you could always go to an emergency room. But the whole idea is to prevent you from getting sick. It's right. about wellness and prevention, and we're seeing much more coverage of wellness and prevention. In other words, preventing people from getting sick. Well, that, that's very positive. I mean, we hear a lot of negative, a lot of bashing of the act. You're giving me a, a different side of the story. Well, there's all sorts of challenges, and of course, right. the big issue with the act is who's going to pay for this right. wellness and prevention. But long term, we're going to have a healthier workforce. All right, tell me about something, a new, a new one that you've got here, Vet Street, which makes it sound like that you, you'll have a better idea of when to go to the vet. Well, the whole idea of Vet Street is to capitalize on what's called big data. In other words, we understand the patterns of prescription of veterinary products and when the patient is actually not using those products. It doesn't come back for a refill. And the whole idea with Vet Street is we are going to make sure that there's better compliance with the prescriptions issued that are so important to the pet. Well, wait a second. I, I, people spare no amount on pets. I mean, they're forgetful. Forget, forgetful, they forget to renew their prescription, they forget to give the pills. All of this stuff results in low compliance on many of the prescriptions that are issued by veterinarians. Huh. It sounds like everybody should have that. I mean, I know that we get a little, we get a call from the dentist, but right. that's a good idea. Right. And then, of course, in the vet space, we have about half the veterinarians using our practice management software. Okay. So you take our software with Vet Street's data information, and we've got the ability to help the a pet owner with better compliance. All right. Now, uh, some questions on the conference call about the consolidation, the Cerrone acquisition. You seem to think that it will be okay, won't hurt your distribution. You no, know, we have a good relationship both with Cerrone and with Densply. And there's going to be more consolidation on the manufacturing side, of course, on the distribution side, and above all, amongst our customers. Our customers are entering into bigger and bigger groups okay. and multiple locations under common management. I often struggle with people understanding what when I say that the dollar's too strong. I see your results, and if I don't look at the dollar, they're amazing. When I put in the dollar, it looks like they're negative. Can you please explain to people how <laughs> unbelievably disruptive the strong dollar is? Well, I don't want to get into the debate of a strong dollar is, is oh, good no, or bad. Oh, no, I just meant that, you know, you uh, have something that's, that's very right, high, and then it right. looks like it's not. Well, so for us, <clears throat> I think Wall Street has us expected to grow by about 10% in right. earnings per share. But... We could have probably grown at 15% because right. we were held back by about 5% because of the headwinds from the foreign exchange. Well, I think that's really important because, I, you know, I say steady Eddie, and some people say, right. well, Jim, it looks like it's all over the place. But it's because you're expanding nas internationally, and that's where the growth is. Well, the growth is international, and particularly, I think, in the developing world, where the middle class are really interested in wellness. Oral care is a big component part of wellness. Right. And, of course, they're investing in their pets and are interested in protein. Well, these are all growth markets. You've done a phenomenal <coughs> job. I gave a talk recently for the Deal Conference. Someone asked me, what's the only steady stock that I'm counting on? Said it's Henry Schein. That's Stanley Bergman, chairman and CEO of Henry Schein. Just a consistent deliverer. Mad Money's back in the break. Booyah!
Ah, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.